Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today we're going to be taking a look at the Bombushka, a bomber plane that we've been waiting for weeks to release now and finally it's here. So let's get right to it shall we? So for the price of just under 6 million undiscounted you get a plane which is so large that it takes up literally half of your hangar. So if you're wanting to display this thing be prepared to move some of your aircraft to the side to make room for it. Anyways yes here it is the Bombushka, both on the outside as well as the inside there's plenty of detailing going on. I especially like these random posters that's in the Gunner Bay area, as well as some other detailing that you can easily take a look at with the use of the Rockstar Editor. But it's not all for show as you'll see very soon. Anyways let's get this thing modded up to the max and ready for action. So as you can probably expect this thing has a lot of customization options going for it, including the usual bombs of the four different types. I'd recommend the standard bomb types because... Hmm, you know. You can get countermeasures like every other plane in the DLC. I'd recommend chaff for this one for reasons that I'll explain later. The onboard guns of this aircraft can be upgraded too, allowing you to have onboard auto cannon similar to the one found on the Valkyrie. They don't fire as quick as the one on the Valkyrie, but its maximum range is more than good enough for a gunner with good aim to wreak havoc on the streets below. The Bombushka, as you'd probably expect, handles awfully. It's really slow on takeoff, which can be excused if you equip Jato rockets to the thing. The Bombushka also turns slower than the Titanic, and what's worse is that you can't do a barrel roll. Oh shit! Another thing that I found rather annoying and fidgety about the Bombushka is that when you're flying forward and not touching the controls, the aircraft likes to pull up a little bit, meaning that you have to keep pushing the darn thing back down, which is really annoying. This might be especially bad when you're in a war zone and you're trying to fly at a certain altitude for bombing. As far as bombing goes, the Bombushka is about the same as every other aircraft in the Smuggler's Run update, dropping the same five bombs at the same interval. Though due to the Bombushka's low top speed, the bombs when they drop, they detonate pretty darn close to each other, so for those who think the scatter of bombs is too wide on every other aircraft, the Bombushka has a pretty good bomb drop pattern. If you have one gunner with you, there's good news to you, the gunner can change to the front, top and rear guns at will, and there's even an animation for when your character does just that meaning that you're not out of luck if you only have one friend to act as your gunner. The maximum capacity of this aircraft is one pilot, plus three gunners, plus two passengers, so this thing can definitely hold quite a few people. Though not quite as much as you'd expect from an aircraft of this size. The Titan, for example, can hold ten people, making that a better choice if you're wanting to do a sort of paratrooper strategy for any reason. As I've stated earlier, the Bombushka is slow. So slow, in fact, that a cyclist could probably keep up with one. Hmm, okay, it's not that slow, but it's still incredibly and unrealistically slow for an aircraft in real life terms, and this could pose a problem for those inside the aircraft if you're going to a battlefield in one. The Bombushka, due to its slow speed and immensely large size, makes it susceptible to explosive sniper rifles, meaning that the pilot will have to keep this in mind if they expect to make it out of the battlefield alive. What I'd recommend, mainly so that the gunners can do their job, is to have the Bombushka fly just high enough above the ground to remain clear of all the obstacles below so that they're not also too high to easily be seen by snipers. This will allow the gunners to easily shoot ground targets as well as keep the plane out of sight from the snipers. The reason I recommend the use of chaff for this aircraft is to keep people on the ground from pulling a quick one with the homing launcher because of how close you'll be to the ground. Overall, the Bombushka, despite being extremely expensive, has been sort of worth the wait. It's definitely something fun for you and your mateys to have fun in blowing the hell out of things and having a good time. But what do you guys think about the Bombushka? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyrome Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, guys.